Merry Christmas. You know what time it is. The Rock said it himself when he was talking about Oppenheimer. This thing, red one on this screen, uh, with this technology, can be game over. I know you're gonna laugh. You've gotta respect that amount of glowing optimism. I appreciate that, Dwayne. But are you right? 497. 498. 499. 500. Let's go heavy. Yeah. After Santa Claus is kidnapped, the North Pole's head of security must team up with the world's most infamous bounty hunter played by Chris Evans in a globe-trotting, action-packed mission to save Christmas. This movie's rated PG-13. There's action, some violence, a little bit of language. It is, uh, you know, definitively a PG-13 movie because of some of the references and, like I said, language. But it's also a movie that I believe when it targets kids is when it actually works best and so just to be frank up front i didn't love this movie but i do want to give it its kudos and some compliments that i wasn't expecting to give after that first trailer honestly the first trailer was terrible everything about it i, I remember watching it for the first time in the theater going at ryan what is this <laughs> that being said when you get big recognizable stars give them a christmas backdrop in the midst of an action comedic adventure slap a title called red one on it and admittedly implement some things that people are going to recognize and or get excited for all of the christmas tropes are here whether it be characters or recognizable moments in the north pole or just you know we get to fight some christmas beings you slap all those things together and you get an adventure that's going to work for kids. You get something that they're going to never be bored with and get some giggles out of. And honestly, that's what parents are going to want in a family film. Now, I said the target audience is mostly kids. There's a distinction between a family movie and a kids movie. This is much more so trying to be a family movie because there are some adult moments, absolutely. But like I said earlier, I think the moments for kids that are spread all throughout this movie and those ridiculous tropes are going to play much better with a younger audience because adults are going to be sitting here. Maybe they'll have some fun. But I'm sitting here as an adult who's seen a thousand of these action adventure blockbusters and then a thousand Christmas movies. So together, do the math. 2,000 total of both, just an estimate. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Personally, I've just seen this one too many times before. You have the star power here, okay? Chris Evans, whatever you want to say about the guy's manager lately, say what you will about him. Every time he shows up, regardless of the quality of the movie, he's fun. He is still Chris Evans, but he's fun. The Rock, say what you will about his manager. Now, I'm excited for a couple of upcoming films, but... Every time he shows up in the movie, he's fun. Now, he's the rock, but he's fun. You see where I'm going with this? No one really plays a character in this film. They're just playing exaggerated versions of themselves. Even J.K. Simmons, which admittedly, I think, sinks more into Santa Claus than the others do in their characters here. But Santa Claus is that recognizable figure, makes it easier to sink into. That being said, he is kind of an exaggerated version of J.K. Simmons, and he does a good job as the character, but he's still J.K. Simmons. And that's how this movie is. It's a bunch of stars and star power doing some fun action-adventure things, throwing some low-ball, low-brow humor in there, and you get an action-adventure movie that the plot just doesn't really matter for. What do you mean? <laughs> What do, you, what do you mean? Santa's gone. They got Santa being held captive. We got to go after him because the Rock's got to prove some things. And you've got Chris Evans who has, you know, there's a kid involved and he's trying to be a good dad. But at the same time, he's a curmudgeon. He's on the naughty list. He's not a good guy. He's got to turn some things around. And you kind of see where I'm going with this. And it's a play on these types of buddy, I don't want to say buddy cop, but buddy action adventure blockbusters that we've seen numerous examples of in the past several years. And you've got the big notable stars to kind of take those ideas to another level. They never really take it to another level. It's an action adventure movie with a Christmas setting and some humor in there. I think the humor is going to appeal to kids more than it is adults. I think the characters, you never really get invested in them. It's more so... Oh, look, it's Chris Evans. Oh, look, it's The Rock. That's cool. That being said, it's not the disaster that I expected it to be. I'm seeing some people on Twitter talk about how big of a disaster this movie is. I disagree. But sometimes when a movie is a disaster, it's at least a little more entertaining than what we got here. 
this movie gets kind of boring about 30 minutes in. I was a little bored with what the plot was, with the uh, conveniences along the way. And then you know exactly what each character's going to say to each other, going to do, how they're going to act, what the trajectory of their plot is. And at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter if your kids are enjoying themselves. But I, as an adult, can look at this and say, why couldn't you just do something a little different? Showcase some creativity along the way. There's some interesting and entertaining moments, especially with Krampus, that sequence where he's getting slapped in the trailer. I'm like, all right, looks dumb in the trailer. A little better in the movie than it played in the trailer. But even then, I felt like there could have been way more creativity with this because this premise isn't bad. It's just the way that they handle it in a generic blockbuster kind of way. Kind of reminds me of a movie that I, I somewhat enjoyed, but Free Guy. It's the same types of jokes. It's the same types of annoying characters. You know exactly where it's going. Now, again, I did have more fun with Free Guy, but it also feels like a Ryan Reynolds type of movie. I know Chris Evans was in that film as well. Another movie I'm going to bring reference to is Red Notice, one of the most forgettable blockbusters I've seen on Netflix in quite a while. Not one that I hated, but one that I've seen a thousand times before. That was The Rock and Ryan Reynolds. Just replaced Ryan Reynolds with Chris Evans. And thus you have Red, what is this one? Red One? Red Notice? They genuinely start to blend together. I apologize for that. <laughs> Either implement more style within the story or maybe even the filmmaking. Give us something magical like Klaus was, right? I'm comparing it to a Netflix movie in Red Notice. But think of a Netflix movie like Klaus that was beautiful, stylistic. Yes, it was animated, but they made the characters interesting. And oh, look, J.K. Simmons disappears into the character. This time you have one to where nobody really disappears into anything. There's nothing stylistic about it or there's nothing really memorable about this. Like Elf on its surface is a generic Christmas movie with generic Christmas movie cliches, but it's hilarious. And you remember Buddy for being Buddy. Yes, Will Ferrell played Buddy, but you remember Buddy as a character. When all is said and done with Red One, I'm going to remember Dwayne Johnson, Chris Evans, and J.K. Simmons. I'm not going to remember the characters, okay? That's just kind of how movies like this go. Look, everyone knows what this movie is or what it was going to be. There's no reason to keep hating on it because honestly, I'll forget about it very shortly. But I want to know what you all thought about Red One. Did you take your families? Most importantly, what did your kids have to say about it? Honestly, guys, that's what matters most. Who cares what I have to say? No one. Correct! Red One is a painfully average Christmas adventure. While not as egregious as its initial trailer, this movie seemingly takes a note from every recent generic action comedy blockbuster, stitches it together with some Christmas tropes, and hopes its recognizable cast can carry the experience. Uh, less of a disaster and more of just kind of a boring blockbuster movie. But hey, it at least kind of got me in the Christmas spirit, guys. Uh, honestly, the day Halloween is over, I'm in the Christmas spirit, even though you can't sleep on Thanksgiving, baby. You put that turkey in the fryer. Oh my God. All right. What are we talking about? Red notice. Nope. Red one. Okay. Bye-bye.